Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation. Yes, I do understand that the top of my head is not where it should be in this video. Um, but that's not why we're here. This is my skirting for the Vogue 1674, 1674, 1671. Ah, where'd that come from? Anyway... So as you can see, I have got a lot done on this for like the front. Okay, this is completely sewn on to panel eight, panel eight. Okay, you're like, but you have pins there. Of course I do. This is panel 11. So 10 and 10 and then 11. This is nine and nine. But we will figure out what the heck is with 12. That's a liner. Huh? Um, anyway, <laughs> weird, right? Um, so, I've got this laid out like this for a purpose. Because I know I need to pull in the top on the middle. Which we shall do while I have you here with me. Um... Anybody's ever wondered about like how I function on a daily? I'm starting to lose the use of my left leg. But if something can stop me, don't feel sorry for me. Because I'm going to keep on going. That's how that is. Um, that is exactly how that is. Nothing's going to stop me. not gonna stop me now so just so you guys know that Char does not give up that's right she's the stuff as a pink cushion and why because I'll be able to see that cutest little bird <laughs> if you guys enjoyed yesterday's video with the, with one of the house pets it's kind of funny because that's the indoor cat that kind of thinks he's a dog. <laughs> it's hilarious. He thinks he's a dog. It's good mouser. Strange thing. He is a strange thing. Um, he's good one minute and then he's a little brat. But I think that happens with all animals. Good one moment there, brat next so anyway <laughs> you know it pets are the other the equivalent of the other children so anyway um this is how the front of this is supposed to be is together right here at the top that way when this drapes down which i made sure close enough that 10 and 11 matched up with 8 at the bottom. Like you saw when I had it all laid out in the pockets and everything. And as you know, this particular device does not have a pause button. So, we always deal with this, right? And I have the bodice over here. I have my other fabrics covered for a reason. Somebody's coming in and I don't want the pets let back here and onto my expensive fabric. Some of that's from Italy. And you know how expensive Italian fabrics can be. So anyway, fabrics from around the world, they can be expensive but worth it as an investment so let my self get up here you know last time i was in a wheelchair it was my right leg that i couldn't use and this time it's my left leg that's going bye boy so oh see like that came undone but it's okay because we, I mean, we need to actually turn this backwards. And my Manny Quinn is not my size. I call her 
you all know if you've been here long enough with me. Manny Quinn is not my size. And in fact, I need to do a repadding on her. If that makes sense to you. Um, it does to a lot of us that so doing repadding. So anyway, as you know, this would be way too big on me. My waistline is here. Okay. So technically this this needs to come in like this. And then we need that pin to pin thus together the dustness together <laughs> last few days I've been enjoying um, being in the chat room of uh, okay, this is going to be a pain in the bootah. But I actually just need to get this marked. Really marked. Because I know my, my waist measurement. And I know my bust measurement. Because I did that the old-fashioned way. So, technically... You're supposed to have this, like I said, that one part together and then take panel 11, fold it and stitch it, which like seriously, before you even do that, I say take heed and redo this around your waisting. You know, all this pinned together is... So, what I'm basically going to do, I'm, I kind of have this thing about sharp objects. Um, I've been tortured that much when I was a kid, but I'm not letting that stop me either. So, basically before pulling this in, We now know where panel 12 goes, right here in the backing, okay? Right here, where my big boota. And then, once putting in panel 12, I think once putting in panel 12, panel 11 will make more sense. Um, I don't know if you agree with that, but to me, I think that's probably the better process on this. Ooh, sit down for a minute. Have a little sewing chat with you. How many of you feel like your body is just a wee bit stressed when you're having to sit in a folding chair? Oh, yeah. To do your sewing for so many hours. And your back hurts. Even if you don't have a spinal disorder like I do. Um, how many of you here have an issue sitting in those chairs? Just to get your work done. So next month for health reasons, I need to get me a new chair. Um... My sewing, my friend was like, he's like, why don't you do a Patreon? Or why don't you do that one thing where people can only watch specific videos if they pay you? Because I don't want the money, honey. I don't want nobody's money. I'm poor, but I don't want to take, you know. Um, legit poor. But I don't have to look for it. You see, I have this tank top on. I don't have the collar finished. And I don't have the shoulder here finished. I got to take in the shoulders to pull the shirt up a bit. 
I can show you guys how to do that by hand for those of you that do not own a sewing machine. Um, I promised a viewer that I would do that anyway. Just to show you how to take up your garment if it's too big on you. It keeps falling off my shoulder. So I've had to tuck it into my brassiere. Um, sorry for my hair. I woke up with like those nappy curls and I get those like right here. It's, it's, you know, Maggie Hardy understands. <sighs> we get this wild hair going. I'm sure a lot of you have it. Um, but yeah, to do this whole project, I've basically took yesterday as a downtime to like get panel number 11 pin on so what i'm going to do today other than talk to you guys um is go ahead sew panel 11 down to panel 10 before i pull it back and then it down at that stage I'm going to go ahead and sew on panel 12 it'll make sense um, and then get that done and remember this is for the um, yellow dress challenge for fabric mark and McCall's Vogue pattern 1671 so, I'm, I'm just like, and I know I'm sitting over here instead over there. The other sofa hurt my back bad, really bad. Um, I think I've had some of my worst seizures sitting on that sofa or even leaning on that sofa. My studio is also my room. Um, so... I have it coordinated well enough in here to suit me. Um, now, when I do a few changes in here, which I have ideas to do a few changes in here, where that TV is right there, the old TV holding my antenna, my analog antenna, which, by the way, works. Um, I'm thinking about moving my fabric dresser over here and um, that way it gives me a little more room. I know the fabric, then I gotta walk across the room and then what happens if I should fall. You know what? I'm not worried about that. If I fall, I get back up. I soldier up, suck it up, and get back up. That's my whole plan with that. Now the other plan in here is move the vintage sewing machine back over by my sewing area where I originally had it instead of where it sits right now which is I mean I had it in front of the window over here anyway but um then I can just move that or I can move my foot locker over there but that has a lot of stuff in it that I need to get to um, in fact, I need to reorganize, go through a few things, make patterns off of a few garments that I don't even wear. That makes sense to all of you out there that says. Um, and then get rid of those garments. Donate them. There's always somebody out there that needs donated garments. Like, you have shelters... You have um, the Goodwill. You know, there's places like that that, you know, need good clothing. And they may not have the chance to get that. And I think really, if we want to do something good for your community, go through your old clothes. Now, I'm not giving away my Native American regalia. That's something that stay for, like, my my children or my grandchildren. I don't know if I'll ever have a little granddaughter. That would be nice. She'd probably be so cute of us. Um, but oh, 
I'd spoil a little girl like crazy. <laughs> All her garments would look like baby doll clothes. <laughs> yep. But anyway, um, I will end up changing this area right here on camera. It's right here. Um, so I'm pointing somewhere else, and this is like that. Um, isn't that kind of funny when we do that? Like we're pointing at something else, and it ends up looking like we're pointing at this. Instead of the actual item that I'm pointing at, which is the foot locker. It looks like I'm pointing at the TV. And I'm not. But hey, that's a big illusion. Um, like a lot of things in life being a big illusion. And um, rather, you know, taking something bad and making it look good. Or make, taking something good and making it look bad. Um... Uh, we have to, you know, put mind on these things. In fact, I'm going to even clean off the, um, the chair that I have sitting here in my room now. As we all know, the haunted chair sits over here. Um, and then I have my art easel behind this recliner. And then I have Manny Quinn now. If I go ahead and move things around in the next couple of months, then, um, you know, Manny Quinn can sit closer to the, uh, to the sewing area, which would be fine. Then the art easel can come back out and I can put a piece of art on that. Now, I was thinking about taking my Alice in Wonderland theme painting, which I did paint, change out the clock in it to a working clock and um it's a functional piece of artwork again which i think would be a great ambiance for in here um before you know i go on teaching you guys more artwork which is might just because i need to uh take it easy on my spine set up an art easel and uh you know do some artwork with you guys so yeah yeah I gotta knock this dress out first um let's see I've also been showing this dress to mood fabric so that they understand it's like hey I'm working on this piece and da 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 this can also go into you know something they may enjoy so um but this right now this is for the fabric mart slash McCall's Vogue Pattern 1671 like I've been rambling on to you guys for days and or weeks. Um, <laughs> oh, and I'm trying to keep my proteins up because that really affects my uh, melatonin. And if you guys have noticed that my face has been going kind of yellow... It's because I haven't been able to keep my iron up. And that's an issue with me. I I do get anemic. But that would be because like I have stuff to feed my iron for a while. And then poof I don't. And that, that really affects my health. Um, you know, it's not about getting a cold or this so-called thing going around which by the way if you really want to know they can't pin what that actually is is it a flu is it a cold is it pneumonia it is what it is it's a mixture of different things la <laughs> it's either one thing or it's another and then they relabel it and then it's just that and everything else so <laughs> You know, you, you kind of have to make fun of the World Health Organization. What what kind of what are you feeding us? And it's not a good bowl of cereal. <laughs> good bowl of cereal is rice checks. I did notice on the back of the rice checks it has the original recipe for checks mix. I might actually make some of that because you know what? I remember back in the day teaching my little children's how to make that you know i'm just gonna be like 
to um, try to make our Monday better um, and more positive because, you know, we have to think on a positive persona in order to heal things. Um, yeah, and I've had people ask me, why aren't you making a mask? Okay, well, you know what? If I make a mask, it's, don't take me wrong. It's, it'll look like the plague doctor, but it's not actually the plague doctor. Um, so don't take that wrong. When I do actually do it, I'm going to put fake eagle, e bleh, eagle feathers on it. Um, now I do have a couple of real eagle feathers, but that's because that's a tribal thing. Sorry guys, that's a tribal thing. Um, and then my pheasant feathers, my goose feathers, and I'm actually going to put those together. If I don't this year, I have my pheasant wing that I can just make into my fan for the powwow, which I'm really hoping is still going to happen this year. I'm going to be really disappointed. Um, but I can also, let, let's say it does get canceled, okay? Scenario for this is I would like to reach out to the Native American community. Now there already is, and if you haven't seen this, I will link around here somewhere and even in the description box below. Natives react. And just so that you guys understand, uh, na we Native American people are not taking anything as a joke. Uh, we just prefer to be positive, if that makes any sense to you. Um, spreading positive energy to other people helps you heal mentally and physically. And that's why we do what we do. And there's an act going on right now. I should put on my regalia and actually join in. Um, uh, healing dances from the jingle dress wearers. And I know mine isn't a jingle dress, but there's fancy dance. Um, and all sorts of different dance. Uh eagle flight dance um and what these do is these enhance the healing of the world sending that energy out and um i would like for all of you to actually reach out to finding those videos uh the native american culture has actually been pushed aside a lot and you guys just don't really know what's going on on the res um yeah, I don't live on a res because I was raised by white people. But, you know, um, my culture has actually accepted me in. And I accept all of you in to understand the power of healing energy. And that's very positive energy towards the whole entire world. Prayer circles in our communities... Um, healing circles of dance and drum that goes out to everybody just so the whole entire world can heal. Knowing that a people that are under segregation actually care enough to reach out and try to help the world. You know, I know you're like, what? Under segregation and you're still going to help people? Well, we don't look down, Okay. Native Americans been through a lot. A lot more than what's just going on. And we figure, okay, well, you know, we've all been through a lot. And we can get through this and help communities stay stronger. And that's always my point of positivity. Maybe it's just my bloodline. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but, uh... You know, we really, we really would like to reach out with a lot of positivity and send you some healing energies as well because, you know, staying positive is always a good thing. It heals the soul. Um, you know, I've said this before, positivity is a, is a soul healer for the world. 
doesn't matter who you are, as long as you have a positive mind to set your goal in a true way and, you know, not... I, I know there's a lot of people out there that some of their intentions are actually true and uh, they would prefer to hurt rather than help heal. But that's not what we're doing for our goal, if that makes any sense to you. Our goal is to actually set that healing energy to go about the whole entire word to, world. Um, I need to drink water soon. I put cereal in my coffee. That's the only way I can eat it. But, um, yeah, I would like to reach out to all of you in that way. Um, because we all need this. Because a lot of people are actually saying, oh, well, da-da-da, make this, can you make that? And I don't feel comfortable with it. So don't think that I'm trying to be mean in any sort of way by saying, no, I'm not going to make these masks because they're not medical grade materials. It's absolutely true that they're not medical grade material. That's why I don't feel comfortable making them. I hope that helps you with that. Um, but I will say anybody that lives in California... Yeah, California and the medical community. Go over to Coolerpa. Coolerpa April on her channel has been making these. So if you actually really want them and you're there in California, please. And, you know, again, I'll try to leave a link for her. Um, and that way, if you live in the area, you can just reach out to April. And, um, I'm sure she'd be happy to sew you up a bunch of medical masks. Um, so, she's in the Hmong community. The Hmong community actually puts out a lot of healing energies as well. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, one of her friends is actually in the new Mulan movie. So, she did, before all the hype and everything... Um, she did travel, her and her husband Eric did travel, um, I think it was last year, uh, over to, uh, China, where they film Mulan, um, and, uh, oh my, which martial artist is in there? I think she said Jet Li. Is in that movie. Yeah. I think she said Jet Li is in that movie. So uh, I think he's the emperor. <laughs> I mean that would make sense. Right? Why not have the emperor being Jet Li? Or like the leader of your uh, training and you know whatever. He's, he's there. He's in that movie apparently. So I haven't watched it. Um... I don't think I'm really down with Disney movies anymore, but, you know, if you are, you are. Um, but, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, my change at my studio will definitely be a chair. I need to sit up a little higher and have some cushion to, like, back me. Um... Because that folding chair really is not doing wonders for my back. It's doing more hurting than healing. Um, because I have to sit lower than I'm used to. Uh, this sofa sits up a lot higher than the other sofa. And um, it, it actually helps my back. So with everything said, I'm going to go ahead and get this skirt knocked out today that's that's my goal of the day and then I'm gonna start work on the bodice because I only have until the 10th to get you know the pictures and everything sent in um so yeah I gotta get that done that is my goal if you have a sewing goal leave that in the comments if you have a goal for the month that you need to finish something up um leave that in the comments but remember we always need to stay happy stay healthy stay positive and as always stay blessed because you know what what might ail us today
can be better tomorrow if we keep a positive mind. And that's what makes the world feel better when we all think in a positive direction like that. Um, so I will see you guys later for a sewing show. If you don't see a sewing show together or uh, today, you'll probably see one later on due to my back. All right. And, and don't worry. Um, I didn't fall earlier when I couldn't feel my leg. Um, I just couldn't feel my leg for a while. My left leg instead of my right leg. I'm losing feeling in my right leg every once in a while. Um, but, you know, deterioration of the disc isn't going nowhere. Oh, sure it is. It's taking my disc. Still being a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I tried to make fun of my appendages. So if I, if I make fun of my epilepsy, you know, I don't need to go to the gym. My epilepsy works me out for me. <laughs> um, because it contorts my muscles. And I think that's part of the problem I'm having right now with my back and my legs. And it's doing more damage. And I need to be very, very careful. So, uh, but as you all know, like, I may get hurt by my disabilities, but it doesn't stop me. So, like, I may take a little time down due to my health. And, um, but I spring back. And I expect everybody else to think about this, like, if you don't have these health conditions, but you're, like, have you ever thought about that? Like, somebody may actually be worse off than you. I have thought about this. I have a friend that has, um, similar conditions, and, um, but his is an epilepsy. And, you know, my friend, he is an awesome person, or I wouldn't have a roof over my head. And, you know, you gotta, like, really help your military veterans, and he's a military veteran, um, stay positive on a daily basis. So, you know, that's the other thing I do on a daily basis is help my disabled military veteran friend try to stay as positive as can be on a daily basis because sometimes our uh, health conditions that are similar um, have us both down at the same time when we try to do teamwork to keep each other going. And that's what we do is uh, teamwork to keep each other going. And I think that's probably the best thing that we can do for each other is uh, keep a smile on each other's faces and uh, keep on going. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one.